Scapulas, you are fabulous. You I was about to try that sweet V0 over there, but then I noticed that like my scapula might be moving in a biomechanically suboptimal way. Due to subpar activation of the surrounding musculature. Plus, I didn't achieve optimal sleep patterns last night, and thus my upper trapezius is... Is creating a three degree variation in your scapula. scapula. Exactly. I'm just worried that it might be my weak muscles that's causing the problem. I mean, that would make sense, considering. Considering what? You're super weak. Oh, right, yeah, that's true, I forgot about that. I just like, what's super weak though? Is it my serratus anterior, my rhomboids, my lower trap, my middle trap? I mean, knowing you, it's probably all of them, but why don't you just make it easy on yourself and target all those muscles with one workout? That sounds amazing. I think if I were to do that, I might actually be able to send that V0. <laughs> Well, let's not get ahead of ourselves. I mean, remember, you do still suck at climbing. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I almost chose to forget that. Fixing scapular dyskinesis can seem like a daunting task for your average climber without expert assistance. And while I definitely still recommend you see a professional if you have real concerns, this workout should provide you with a low risk blanket approach to getting your scapula and shoulders back on track. You can, of course, design your own workout using these charts I've created, but not everyone wants to tackle that. Keep in mind, there are many ways to train the muscles we're targeting here, but I chose this format to keep things relatively short and simple so as to not discourage anyone. There may be some overlap between exercise and this routine as well, but in this case, I'm okay with that. We're gonna do two circuits with three exercises in each. All right, the first exercise is gonna be a standing W with scapular retraction. First, anchor the band in front of you at about chest height. With your arms straight, create a bit of tension in the band, and then simply draw your arms and hands backward as you retract the scapula. Now the important part here is to keep the scapula down and back. Don't allow yourself to shrug up with it. The other important aspect is to make sure that you are punching back with the fist. This is slightly different than the face pull exercise as your elbows are gonna be tucked down further. This helps improve that kinesthetic awareness of keeping the shoulder blades down and back. All right, the next exercise is the plank shoulder taps with scapular protraction. So get into a modified push-up position, so hands narrower than shoulders and feet outside the hips, and then perform that nice scapular protraction, making sure not to just round the back, and then alternate tapping shoulders left to right. Try and avoid a lot of body sway. If your core is not engaged, you'll start moving around a lot. So keep the core engaged and keep yourself pushed away in that scapula protracted position. Perform about 20 controlled repetitions. Our third exercise is gonna be quadruped shoulder flexion. You may or may not want a light weight with this one. Place one hand on, in a knuckle position down on the ground and your other arm is gonna simply flex up in front of you. Now at that end range, try and hold briefly. Keep yourself pushed away with the hand on the ground and make sure to squeeze those shoulder blades back together. If you use too much weight, you may say, hey, I'm not getting good engagement. So drop the weight and focus on the form before you try and make it harder. All right, to start off our second circuit, we're gonna do face pulls with an overhead press. All right, so you're gonna attach a band in front of you at about chest height, similar to with the standing Ws. You're gonna grab the band at both ends and create some tension with your arms straight. Now with this one, you're gonna go slightly higher, really driving the fist back and squeezing the shoulder blades together, making sure not to shrug again. But now you're gonna add that slow controlled overhead press into the Y, come back to the face pull position and return to start. This one is a challenging exercise to make sure you have good form, but hopefully having done the first circuit, you've improved the activation of those necessary muscles and you'll be able to perform this with excellent form. Perform eight to 12 controlled, slow repetitions. Our next exercise is gonna be a push-up plus on the BOSU. Now the plus is the real important part here. The BOSU is adding some great instability challenges, so improving the stability of the shoulders overall. So go down nice and slow into that push-up into whatever range feels comfortable for you. And as you push up, make sure to go through that full range. So I'll do another one here, but I'll kind of isolate that last part. So most people are gonna stop right here on that push-up. You wanna get that scapular protraction for that push-up plus. Keep the core nice and engaged throughout and get that good control 
to really help stabilize those shoulders. All right, this next one I nicknamed the no pyramid exercise and you'll see why in a second. So start with a circle band. If it's too hard, you can make it a single one as well. But with the circle band, place it on the outside of both hands. Start with your elbows by your side and your forearms need to be parallel to one another. Your arms are gonna flex up while the elbows stay at exactly 90 degrees. Now, this is called the no pyramid because it gets really easy if you flare your elbows out and make a pyramid, okay? So keep the elbows and the arms perfectly parallel to each other and you'll really feel this one in the shoulders. Stop slightly above 90 degrees and do about six to eight controlled repetitions of this one because if you're doing it right, ooh, you're gonna feel the burn. You can perform this once a week to maintain or slowly build healthy shoulders or twice a week to really up your scapula game if this is a larger issue for you. Do this independent of a climbing day as it's its own workout or do it after a somewhat lighter climbing session. And hey, if you like this video, consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're feeling extra psyched. Until next time, train your friends to complement your scapular humoral rhythm while you climb the social hierarchy and ultimately ascend to the top of the scapula kingdom. And repeat, but this time maybe make a Netflix series about it.